Hi again. I'm going to read a story now about the night before kindergarten. Remember, Miss Gladys has been telling you that we are starting a new unit called Transformation and you are going to go to kindergarten, right? It's almost the first day of school and kids all over town are getting ready in this book for it. What will kindergarten be like, right? What will it be like? It be, kindergarten be like for you, right? Will the teacher be nice? Will they still get to play, right? Anticipating excitement are in the air as they they head off to school, right? So where they discover just how much fun kindergarten is, right? As much as pre-K was fun, you're going to find out that kindergarten is much better too. So, you are going to transform to kindergarten. So, you're a big kiss now, remember? You're not so little as if you were when you came into my classroom. Now, you're going to change. And you're going to a new school with new friends, new teachers. Okay? So, this one is called The Night Before Kindergarten. Let's see what happens the night before kindergarten. The night before kindergarten by Natasha Wing. Now, Natasha is the author, is the person who wrote the book. So, over here we see our tea was the night before kindergarten. And as they prepare, kids were excited, a little bit scared. So they're preparing all their things the night before to go to kindergarten. Their clothes, their, to their bags, everything they're going to use for kindergarten. I imagine you're going to do the same thing too, see? The little girl is preparing herself and the little boy to go to kindergarten and making sure they have everything in their bags. They toss and they turn about in their beds while visions of school supplies dance in their heads. So they're sleeping, but they're thinking about kindergarten the next day. Remember, you are gonna be like that too when you go, you know, it's your time to go to kindergarten too. They're thinking in their heads about everything they're going to have for kindergarten. Now, erasers and crayons and pencils, Gaylor were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the classes with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. So they have everything prepared for kindergarten. Everybody's sleeping, getting ready for the next day. They're all resting. Now, in the morning, it came school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? So they're asking themselves, as you will be asking yourselves too, will your teacher be nice? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Mommy always throws you their first day of pictures when you're going to school and you wash your teeth in the morning before eating breakfast. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Everybody's getting ready to go. Yeah, they're getting ready with the snacks and they're boarding their cars. Everybody's ready for kindergarten. Some children brought, some kids brought blankets up, 
or their favorite stuff there in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaim, you're big kids, wow, let us hold your beers and blankets for now. They want to take everything to school. Like some of you did when you were in pre-K too, remember? Some of you bought your blankets, some of you bought your toys, some of you bought your beers. So I had to send them back home. And here's a teacher. She's greeting you in. The parents were worried. Their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be okay. Remember, sometimes your parents want to stay in school when you when it's your first day. And parents want to make sure you're okay. And that's fine. Give the parents all there. They're all looking at the children. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. So they're all sitting here and look at the parents are in the door watching, right? Making sure you're fine. So the room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the bed beds for mid-morning naps? The parents are still here watching, right? Look at every kids are in the circle in the rug, like you do, used to do in pre-K. Rock in the rug, right? All the toys. They color and they paint it and they play Simon Says. They then tumble and skipped and stood on their heads. The first day of school when you came in, I remember you all started dropping the toys in the floor, making a big mess and playing. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. Wow, look at that. The parents are still in the store. And everybody's nice and happy singing. Anybody already had a friend. So you're going to do the same thing when you go to kindergarten. You're going to have new friends too, remember. The children were happy. They loved Miss Surprise. It was she. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. So the parents are all still at the door. Look what happened. When what when what to her wondering eyes should appear but send moms and dads who were holding back tears. The parents were crying because they had to leave. They can't stay there all day. So they started to cry. Oh my God, instead of the children to start to cry, the parents were crying. Their noses so sniffy, their eyes red and wet. This was the sad, this the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise has seen yet. The parents, instead of the children crying, the parents were crying, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at this. She gathering the grown, gather the grown's up on the magical rug. Then she, they, then send them away after one final hug. The parents would, didn't want to leave. They were gonna miss their children. The children all away from the door of the school. Don't cry, mom and dad. Kindergarten is cool. So kindergarten is going to be cool for you too, right? And none of you are going to cry like your dad, these parents all cried. And you were all happy. And you're going to be happy too when you go to kindergarten. So I hope all of you love the story. And I hope all of you do the same thing. I hope all of you... Have a great time in kindergarten, and I hope you learn so much too, okay? Bye. Mm -hmm.